In this video, we're going to show you the effect that different gases have on different instruments. First, let's start with the trombone. frequency shifts are summarized by the following table. Now let's try a trumpet. We found it difficult to get the trumpet to produce the higher pitch when under helium. However, we were able to analyze it and find a fundamental of 472 hertz. The results for the trumpet are summarized by the following table. Now let's try the pipe organ. To create a controlled environment for our experiment, we took our pipe organ pipe and placed it inside a bag. We then tried to excavate out as much air out of the bag as possible. Once this was done, we would connect a hose to the pipe and then allow the gas we wanted to flow through the hose through the pipe producing the pitch. This worked well for helium, however, as you'll see later, the sulfur hexafluoride did not have enough pressure to produce a pitch. So instead, we filled a balloon with sulfur hexafluoride and allowed the balloon to create the pressure to give us a pitch. Here are the results for the pipe organ. Here is a combined list for all the results from this experiment. If we look at helium, we'll notice that it increased the pitch in every instrument by a significant portion. For the trombone and the pipe organ, it was very similar, around 246% increase. For the trumpet, however, we were only able to obtain a 197% increase. This is most likely due to our inability to get the trumpet to produce a clear pitch. Sulfur hexafluoride, on the other hand, had a little bit more of a range of effect on the instruments, ranging from 81% on the trumpet down to 46% for the pipe organ. For an explanation of why these gases affect the pitch of the instrument, please check out our other video. Thanks for watching.